Hey everyone, today I want to share with you my composition tips when using a 24mm focal length for portrait photography. For this photo shoot, I'm using the Sony a7R4 with the G Master 24mm f1.4 lens and I wanted a really moody vibe for this shoot, so we shot this all during blue hour. To get our bearings with what a 24mm focal length looks like for portrait photography, I want to start off with some simple shots. Even though I am physically close up to Serena, you can see that I'm only getting a full body shot from this distance. So a 24mm can be a good lens option if you're shooting in tight spaces. The most prominent feature of a 24mm is that the background is really emphasized in your photos. You can just see so much of the location. For these first few photos, I chose a plain background to get Serena to stand out in the photo. Even though the grass has lots of texture, it is all a solid color to help Serena pop. I also made sure that the horizon line didn't cut right through her face either. I think if you're leaning on that, it would be a good... Ooh, this is so pretty. I really have to bump up my eyes right now. When I'm shooting in portrait orientation, I like leaving a lot of negative space at the top of my frame. I do already do this with a 35 focal length as well, but I emphasize that negative space even more on a 24. Since these lenses are wider, when you place your subject on the very edges of the frame, it can cause things to stretch out in those areas, which can be pretty unflattering for portrait photography. So I like to keep my subject's face closer to the center of the frame to avoid that. Shooting with your subject's face closer to the middle of the frame is not just to avoid distortion. I still like to shoot with this composition when I'm on a 50 or an 85mm as you can capture portraits with a lot of emphasis on your subject's face while also bringing in more of the environment into the frame as well. The opposite can be said when shooting in landscape orientation. I find that the distortion at the top and bottom of the frame is not as bad as portrait orientation. So I do have more leeway as to where I can place my subject. So this is where I take my chance to fill the frame with my subject as much as possible. Oh, that's cool. Next, I wanted to share some tips about posing your subject when shooting with a 24mm lens as I think posing can really make or break these wide angle photos. So before we started shooting, I told Serena that I was going to be using a wide angle lens, so I wanted the posing to be large, wide and exaggerated. This is because your subject will only end up filling in a small portion of your entire frame. So if you're using small and constricted posing, you can easily lose your subject in the wide frame. By having your subject bring their arms out, having their legs placed wider and tilting their body, you can end up with more dynamic and interesting looking portraits. I was also always on the lookout for spots in our location where Serena could lean over things so her body was at an angle and places where we could have a sit and lay down to be able to fill the frame as much as possible. I like it with your hand back, I want to get like a... And could you relax that hand if you just kind of, yeah. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, I'd love if you could give it a like and subscribe to my channel because I upload new photography videos every single week. Maybe you could put your foot on your knee. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think of a 24mm focal length as a creative lens for portrait photography that can be used to exaggerate features and bring an interesting perspective to a photo shoot session. One of my favorite compositions to try with a 24 is shooting from interesting angles such as from down below. I really like using these exaggerated angles on a 24mm because you don't need to dislocate yourself physically to get these weird angles. By just moving your camera down slightly, it is more than enough to throw the perspective out in a photo. Maybe for this one, you can like hold onto the fence and kind of sway off it. 
Actually, I like that like that. I'm gonna get like a close-up. While this focal length is definitely creative, I find that it's not very versatile for portrait photography. A 35mm focal length is usually the widest I would personally go for portraits. Even though you can get some distortion with close-up portraits on a 35, I feel like it's just enough that you can still get away with it. So I like that I can do an entire photo shoot on a 35mm lens only. When using a 24mm for portraits, I would recommend having another lens for the shoot where you can take close-up headshots with. This close-up portrait here is about the closest as I would get with a 24 to avoid any unflattering distortion and as you can see, my subject still doesn't really fill up the frame. Maybe you could have one arm on your head. I like those little reeds there. Maybe if you crouch. Yeah. They smell. Do they? Oh, they're so fluffy. Yeah, that. Wow. Maybe be a little, like, standing closer to the fence. And then I thought maybe if you could kind of, like, hug your shoulders. Oh, and you can see, like, the car headlights in the background. So pretty. So these are the last few photos we took during this shoot right at the end of Blue Hour. So circling back to my tip on posing with a wide angle lens, in this location we were able to add some variety back to our posing by having soft, constricted and small poses due to the location we were shooting with. Instead of having Serena fill the frame with wider posing, I composed my shot to include the fence instead. I angled my camera in a way that the fence caused leading lines to Serena's face to lead your eye to her in the frame. So even though she's posing in a more constricted way with her arms crossed, the fence is filling the frame instead of the subject and also leading your eye to the subject's face. I'm gonna shoot a little bit of an angle. I'd love to know which one was your favorite composition tip down in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye. Oh, that's all I should say. <laughs>